Tonight, police are looking for the driver who hit and killed an elderly woman who was out on her daily walk. It happened last night in Centerville at the intersection of Stone and Braddock Roads. That's where Breanne Carter is live tonight. She's got the latest on the investigation for us. Breanne? Leon, the family tonight is asking if the person behind the wheel would have just stopped or called police if the outcome in all of this would have been any different. Meanwhile, police are searching for the driver. Sad, but I, I tell you before, I need to really, really found it, this person. Marisol Vieiro and her family are heartbroken today, knowing 85-year-old Adela and Taiwa, the woman who was like a grandmother to them all, will never come home again. She's um, very nice, you know. She's um, she loves my, my kids because she thinks my kids are um, grandkids. And Taiwa, originally from Peru, lived in this Centerville community. Authorities say Thursday night she was crossing Stone Road when she fell. Police say she was then hit by a car. The driver never stopped. She died on the way to the hospital. I find it ridiculous if somebody hit, hit another person and just keep going. That's, there's no way. And Taiwa is described as nice and friendly and was said to still be very active. Neighbors say she would get out and walk almost every day. She liked to do it. That was her exercise. Right. But, you know, he would see her over there when it's cold like this and bring her home. Now take a live look here. You can see that sign police put up this afternoon with a number for people with information to call. Meanwhile, police also telling us tonight that driver may not have known that they struck someone. They also say this snowbank on the side of the street may have complicated her from getting off of the road and onto the sidewalk. Reporting live, Breanne Carter, ABC 7 News. Thanks, Breanne. That is so sad.